Uh, I know I'm new here, but, uh, I think we're gonna do some great stuff. <coughs> Nothing? What? Come on. Clap for the king! <coughs> You're doing great, man. Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I'm here with Joe. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> well, I, uh, I watched the first episode of Aquaman, and, uh... Yeah, I, I did, did too. Yeah, yeah, it's um apparently there's only the the one episode's out and the next one's on like the twenty first or whatever. Or it's late. It's it's further away from here. So, so cool. Yeah. So we got more coming. Do we know how the, the first? Season, well, I actually before you be buried lead Aquaman King of Atlantis. This is a new cartoon that's out on HBO Max and presumably other places. Forty five minute uh, introductory episode, chapter one, Dead Sea. What'd you think? I thought it didn't need to be 45 minutes. How long would you have had it be? I think in the like 11 to 22 minute uh, framing. I, I think this is a show that's designed like just the way it works and the kind of gags they go for and the tone would mm -hmm. really fit more of like an 11 minute kind of like one, two punch kind of approach. Makes sense. Yeah. I was thinking somewhere around zero minutes would have been good for. That, yeah. That, that works too. Yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 and all kidding aside, I agree with you. It, it, the, the episode seemed to just keep going. Like I, I kept thinking, all right, it's over, but no, I, I hit pause and it's like, Oh my God, I'm not halfway through this thing. And we've had 18 baseball jokes. Yeah, I. What is with the baseball jokes? <laughs> Who thought that was funny? Like, why did Holy they keep going back to that over and over? Holy fuck! I I was like, I'm just sitting there, like they're making another joke about how they don't know how baseball works. Like, what is going on? And then the, everyone's talking about baseball bats, and then making jokes about you know, like oh, you know, bases loaded and stuff like that. And it's like there's. The joke is they don't know what these things mean, and they yeah. keep going back to the well on that. It uh, you thought it was over at one point, and then when uh, Aquaman and Mera get, you know, to finding these little refugees or whatever the the original population, and they immediately start bringing them back out rapid fire again. Like I'm also a baseball fan. It's like who who in the writers' room thought this was funny, and can that person be shot and killed? That'd be great, or um, or at very least not invited back, for, or, or hit with a baseball bat. Yeah, man, I, I yeah. don't. I just cannot. it was just a weird go to. Like you have, I mean, Aquaman's going to be a hard sell. I think you know the movie brought a lot of prominence to this character. It got people's like, ah, oh, Aquaman's cool because uh, Jason Momoa is cool. He's got tats, so I mean that he's got that going for him. Yeah, um, but it, it just. Uh, I think Aquaman's a tough, tough cartoon. It's a tough show. Sure. And so to saddle that with a bunch of nobody knows how to play baseball references was a very strange choice. That on top of this ties very much into the movie because it's very much like the movie sort of canon because it's like, okay, you're here now, um, you know, uh, as the new king, because you defeated Ocean Master. Right. And so it's like, okay, this is clearly trying to attract people who saw the movie and want right. to see what happens next, but the tone and the the age bracket and all of that are completely different. Like, why would you do this cartoon and tie it to, like, the movie when they're so different? Absolutely. I mean, I thought the thing that was going to be toughest for me was the animation style, and it wasn't good. Sure. But the writing easily proved it was far more terrible, with just very bad pacing. The the, the thing just, all the jokes were, were awful. This this villain that some say is supposed to be Trump, but I, I no, don't it's it's a scavenger. Yeah. But I, the, the way they've drawn, drawn, I mean, I, I, it's it, you've got a Russian accent. I, there's no because they, they changed oh. like Peter Mortimer to Pietro uh, Mordakov or whatever. But it's right. it's scavenger. Yeah, That's the whole point. Yeah, but it's 
it's uh, the the build up and setup of this character goes for fifteen minutes, roughly. Yeah, and before no that, we have Ocean Master comes back to try to reclaim the throne, and then because he said he's reclaiming the throne, and Aquaman didn't want to fight him, he becomes king again because that's how the laws work here. So it's like, so it's. Is this like a parody? Like, what what are we doing here? So, yeah. And no, then the entire thing is filled with jokes. Where I, I guess somebody thought that it was funny. Like, they spend about five minutes in the opening sequence and come back to it later. Around his throne is uncomfortable, and that that's just a gag. They want to just keep rolling out that he can't sit down comfortably. And then they they bring it back later when he's at Scavenger's place and they're in the guest room. And the the chair and the guest room is more comfortable, and he's like, "I think I should bring this back and use this as the throne of Atlantis." Yeah. And then there's a bit later where Scavenger is just like, "I should treat myself and and sleep in the guest bedroom tonight." Wait a minute, why did I make the guest bedroom more comfortable than my own bedroom? And it's like, I I can't believe this is a thing. Like, why did you spend the money to do this? It's either like. Either make a, a, a more kitty cartoon and don't tie it to the movie and do like your own thing mm-hmm. with it, or make it feel more like the movie if that's what you're going for. And they kind of went like, what if we take the worst aspects of both of those ideas and make a cartoon? No, absolutely. And I, I yeah, I, I turned this on thinking uh, I'm going to hate the art. And I did, but uh, the art was easily the best part of this cartoon. Yeah, no, and, and like the art's fine. It's, you know, it felt very like... Um, it's Adventure you know, Time style art. It's Adventure Time. It's got kind of, it's reminiscent at points of like some of like that, like early mid 90s, like Nickelodeon where they would intentionally draw characters <laughs> ugly and things like that. Yeah. Um, so you had all that going on, but but the the pacing of it overall is you know so you have this weird bit of Aquaman being king and then not for a second and then he just bashes Ocean Master over the head and he's king again and then um, they're trying to look through tasks for the king and, uh-huh. and Mira's the one who picks for him yeah. Which, well, because uh, she's the power behind the throne and also, you know, irrationally, constantly angry and bloodthirsty and everything. I, by the way, I, I started watching this show with my daughter, my older daughter, and she's she likes the animation. She's like, oh, the animals are so cute, everything else. About eight minutes into the show, she leaves the room to go do homework. And if there's any more damning kind of statement I could give about this show, it's that a kid walked away from a cartoon because they were more interested in doing homework. Yeah, no, that's, that's not great. No, Um, no. I mean, it was, I, it got to that point where X amount of time passed and I'm like, I, I, I just, I got to finish this and get through it. And, uh, you know, if, if there wasn't the opportunity to perhaps talk about this on a YouTube channel, I may have, uh, you may know, bail. I may have bailed. Because, uh, again, like with the pace, you're just like, how is this still going? What's happening now? Because that's like, oh, we're going to investigate this thing. There's, um, and, and again, stupid. It's just like, yeah. oh, all of Outpost 4 or whatever completely disappeared and everyone's been gone for years. And then they're like, I go. That sound, you know, Mira is the one who's like, "We should check that out because that's that's mm-hmm. the uh, recipe for action adventure." And then they get there, and for whatever reason, they're unable to detect that the water stops, so they crash their vehicle. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, you you would think you'd notice that, but uh, you'd think you'd notice a giant desert in front of you with no fish. But uh, yeah, but then uh, yeah. I mean, it, they keep rolling out jokes that. Uh, again, it had to be funny to somebody in the writing room. Like, hey, what if Mara had a bottle of air, but not a bottle of water, and then they don't have any water, and then she's like, "But I, I meant to bring a bottle of air because we live underwater. So what do we need water for?" And then th- that's again another joke they repeat half a dozen times for reasons best known only to them. 
in between baseball jokes. In between baseball jokes. And and Mira's like, I want to punch him. Let me punch him. And then they meet these robbers and then they try and talk, but then they punch him. And the robbers suck. And then they meet the scavenger and he's clearly dubious. And then, you know, they it just it, this 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 episode just keeps crawling its way forward. It's I, I, truly awful. <laughs> yeah, I I cannot believe this happened. You know, like and and that there's more. And uh, I don't know what to expect. I'm kind half of me is thinking like, are we just gonna get like a lot more baseball jokes? Is like this not even the tip of the iceberg? It really feels like they are, uh, the baseball jokes is going to be a running season long gag that they're just going to come back to because it, it doesn't feel like they're done with baseball references. Um, but uh, again, the, the, and the, the ocean master is, is king again. So by the end of the issue or in the issue, at the end of the episode, we get the big twist, which is that for some crazy ass reason, the fact that uh, Aquaman has been in this other area, time passes differently. So they keep kind of hinting at it like, we haven't heard from them in seven years. It's like, yeah. and then we have then, villagers say, it's only been three days or whatever. Yeah. So so you all, like, they make it very clear what the twist is before you you hear it. So obvious, you're, yeah, you're just like, of course, it's going to be the twist that we're waiting for. And then they act like it's a big twist, even though they really made it very clear. Yeah. He's been gone for a year, but we've seen Aquaman basically just walk up and punch Ocean Master in the face and it's no problem. So it's like, there's no tension there, but it, it just, everybody's unlikable. I mean, Aquaman is kind of a dumbass who floats his way through this thing, not really knowing what's going on and contemplating a more comfortable chair. Mira wants to punch everything and she gives wide crazy eyes constantly because she loves to punch things. And then finally she gets to punch things. And likes the baseball. I, I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we've got. Going well, on here. it's too much happens, but it's not interesting. And then you're wondering why there's more after this because it feels like that's it. So, yeah. like, I'm wondering if it's going to be more like kind of standalone kind of things, or if there is going to be this like interconnected continuity because it doesn't matter. No. No, no, none of this, none of this remotely matters. And it, it is a, uh, I, I, again, it's, it's people who are looking at this. I know it got a lot of uh, jokes about the, the art style and how stupid it looks and everything else. I, I say again, the art is absolutely the best part of this, this episode. Yeah. Which there you go. All right. So you, you, uh, are you going back in for episode two then? Or are you done? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not this, certainly not this week because I'm going down to Baltimore Comic Con. So good. That's going to be a better use of your time. But you are, you're, you know, you've got Doom Patrol, you've got Titans, you have other things to watch. So you can, yeah, absolutely. Very peacefully, you know, avoid that. That's Squid Game show. That's, that's, that's some fun shit there. Yeah. I, I watched the first episode of that. And, um, you know, I've read, you know, you know, it's the kind of thing where you, you, you watch it and you're like, this is great. I mean, I've read this manga and watched this anime a million times already, but still cool. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, still somehow better. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> well, Joe, thank you very much. And sorry you had to go through that. It, it was truly bad. It was, but, uh, but Hey, at least Aquaman has a cartoon and that's yeah. winning something. Winning. I, I just, uh, I'll leave everybody with the, uh, an 11 year old uh, girl right in the target market, of presumably what this cartoon is for, chose to do pages of math, then sit through it. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs>